welcome back guys to another weekend of exploring. This weekend uh, Jake and I have headed up to Port Macquarie on the New South Wales mid-north coast. And we're going to have a little bit of an explore of some of the beaches in this area. Really, really keen. We've got some awesome weather this weekend and it's actually been a little while since we uh, have come up here. So we came through this region in our January 2022 adventure when we toured down the mid-north coast and uh, we just thought that we didn't give this particular area enough time because uh, there's some really awesome spots through here. We're only in here for about a day or so and we thought, geez, we'd really love to come back and spend a whole weekend here exploring around. So we're going to do that this weekend. We're just north of Port Macquarie. We've just come off the Settlement Point Ferry and uh, we're going to have a look up some of the beaches here and see if we can't find a camp spot for this afternoon. It's a little bit late in the afternoon, so uh, we're going to actually leave all the uh, exploring for tomorrow. And we're just going to hunt for a camp this afternoon as uh, the weather is perfect for just sitting around and enjoying the beach scenery. So I really keen for this one and I hope that you guys are too. So we're just going to get straight into it, air down and, uh, and head straight onto the beach. I'm really looking forward to it and uh, yeah, let's see where we end up. Right, we're all uh, aired down, just having a quick look at the tide. It looks like it's on the way out, which is good. So, got enough room to get up the beach, no dramas. It's the most important thing next to tyre pressure. When you're beach driving, is always check the tide. You, the last thing you want to do is get stuck on an incoming tide. So, looks like this one's outgoing. So, uh, all good. There's a beautiful view of Port Macquarie behind me there. And that's the way we're going, so. Let's get into it. Let's go. Well, that didn't take us very long at all. Would you get a look at that view? We've snagged an awesome camp spot here on this beach. The stunning, stunning view. How awesome is that? 
As said at the start of the video, the last time we came through here, we knew we just had to come back because there were amazing views like this just waiting to be discovered down here. But we both can't wait to get set up in this spot and enjoy the afternoon and that's pretty well all that we have planned for today. We had a big drive and uh, now that we're here, we're going to set up, enjoy the afternoon, cook some dinner in this beautiful spot and then bright and early in the morning, we're going to get to exploring. We're going to have a look around this region. There are a couple of more beaches to drive on and hopefully a couple of lighthouses that we can check out. Really, really keen. As I said, I know that we're stoked with this spot. I hope you guys are too. So we're going to get setting up and enjoy the afternoon. And what a spot. I don't think that you could get sick of a view like this on a day like today. It's bloody hot out here and uh, there's just something about sitting by the beach on a hot day. Jacos is out there uh, getting smashed by the waves, having the time of his life. <laughs> I'm just sitting up here enjoying the view. How awesome.
you sign something about that? A great afternoon so far we're just about to get some dinner going here uh, finally got the fire roaring down there it took us a little while to get it hot enough actually uh, but it's finally going cook up some dinner tonight I'm gonna use the, uh, the the stove this time instead of the fire just to make things a little bit easier and uh, yeah really nice afternoon here sort of foggy mist down over the beach there but still such a beautiful view really really lucky to have got this spot as well as a fair few people have come past uh, if we had been any later i don't think we would have gotten such a good spot so really stoked about that anyway really excited for some dinner it's been a cracking afternoon in this spot looking forward to the rest of the night Done and dusted, uh, we're just setting up the companion aqua heat here, uh, the portable shower that we have, little gas powered one. We've been using this for a little while, we use it on Fraser. Things absolutely awesome uh, to have a nice hot shower while we're out at camp and uh, after hitting the waves today, I think that uh, we need one. So looking forward to using it. It's been such an awesome unit so far. Nothing beats a, uh, a nice warm shower after uh, a day at camp.
morning guys from this uh, beautiful spot here on the north shore of Port Macquarie. We've woken up this morning to some more nice weather. Awesome sleep uh, last night here in this spot. The sound of the waves that just help you sort of sleep a lot easier. Similar to the sound of a river. You can't believe uh, how peaceful it was here last night. We didn't have too many people come through. A couple of others came through and camped up the top up there but uh, we were uh, relatively left alone. I think this spot is definitely going to go down on the favourites list. What an awesome spot this is and uh, we could definitely fit a few more of us in here if we decided to come back for a group camp so we may even do that. So today uh, we are going to be packing up here in this spot and heading north. So we came from Port Macquarie yesterday and we're going to be heading further north now. So uh, the end destination for today is Smoky Cape Lighthouse. So we're going to be checking with the tides and seeing what we can do, we'll either be able to go straight up the beach, which is what it looks like as the tide's out, or we'll have to go up uh, Plummer Road, which was a little bit of a nightmare last time with the, all the, uh, the potholes and just the conditions were pretty terrible on that road last time. So fingers crossed that we can head straight up the beach and then have a good run. Before that though, we're just gonna cook up some breakfast and uh, then begin to pack up here. You know, with beach camping, all your stuff's sort of a little bit wet, so we've got to let it dry out before we pack it up. So uh, we're going to be enjoying that view for a little bit longer, and then we're going to start packing up. Well, that's us all packed up here guys. Now it's time to hit the beach and get to exploring.
Yeah, not much can beat a nice early morning drive down the beach. We're getting close to the end now, but uh, the tide is on the incoming, so glad that we got out when we did, otherwise we may have had to take the inland track. And that inland track for this beach is an absolute nightmare. So yeah, much rather drive down the beach, even if it's on the soft stuff, than uh, they'd have to tackle that track. Water view though, such an awesome beach, this one that we're on here. And I can't believe it's so close to Port Macquarie. Absolutely loving it. I think that the tide is gonna indicate what we do for the rest of the day. As uh, once the tide comes in, some of the other beaches that aren't as wide as this, uh, we won't be able to drive on so we'll just see how it goes anyway really keen for a day full of adventure and if this is what we're in store for i'm so keen We completed the drive up the beach and just stopped in here to uh, Queen's Head. What a fantastic little spot this is. It's this little secluded beach in between the two uh, headlands. Wow, this is awesome. awesome is this little beach what a hidden gem and it would have been really easy to actually drive straight past this beach and not stop off I'm glad that we did you know got a couple of these nice big rock formations and it's just this little beach in here there is another beach on the other side of that rock there that's also a little secluded beach and then another big one that goes all the way up uh, towards Crescent Head how cool would this be there's also a little uh, campground or caravan park up the other side as well which would be an awesome stay for the weekend if you've got a beach like this just at your fingertips what a gem Just gonna pop some air back into the tires now before we continue on as uh, we're not too sure if we're gonna be back on the beach today. It's all gonna depend on the tides. So just for now, we're gonna pump them back up just so we've got enough pressure in them to drive on the road before we uh, continue on. Smoky Cape Lighthouse which is our end destination for today there's a few different ways that we can go about getting there and that is all going to depend on the tides so if the tides play in our favor we'll do a little bit more exploring up a couple of the beaches here 
if the, if the tides don't play in our favour then we'll have to stick to the inland tracks which is alright I'm just really keen to get to Smoky Cape Lighthouse it's a beautiful lighthouse here on the uh, New South Wales mid north coast so we'll see how we go and what we end up doing in between here and Smoky Cape but either way I'm really keen and I hope you guys are too the tides didn't work in our favour and Hathead Beach unfortunately wasn't suitable to drive on. We jumped onto the highway and took the coastal scenic route to Smoky Cape and it wasn't long before we were closing in. So here we are at uh, in the car park at least for Smoky Cape Lighthouse. Really keen to get up there, it was a really nice drive. We ended up taking the uh, inland route to get here as it looked like the tide was just going to be a little bit of a problem. So. We're here, we finally made it, and I'm really, really keen to get up there. It's an awesome view. Can't wait to show you guys this place again. made it to the, uh, the top here and we're actually at the lighthouse now I'm greeted to that beautiful view down there how awesome is that that is Hathead Beach I believe uh, it's one of the beaches that you can drive on however we chose not to because there's a section just there in the middle that the tides actually come all the way up and you, you can't really get past so uh, still an awesome sight and I'm glad that we made it here in the end but it's well worth the uh, the drive whether you do it on the beach or on the road such an awesome view from up here so this is uh, our end destination for this weekend's adventure we're gonna have a quick look around up here and then we're gonna head back to the car and begin the trek home such a uh, rewarding weekend I think we had a fantastic camp last night and then uh, this view today the weather had stuck out for us couldn't be happier with this weekend
Well guys, that is us done and dusted for this weekend. What an awesome adventure that we've had. Uh, up here we ended up at Smoky Cape Lighthouse. We made it to the end destination, which is always good. Cracker camp last night as well. How good was that spot on the beach? And uh, to think that this whole area is full of spots like that is just awesome. So we'll definitely be back to this area again soon to go and stay at another one of those spots. There's just so much to check out in this area. It's hard to do it all in a single weekend. So hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, consider subscribing, and uh, of course, tell us what you thought down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, we will see you in the next adventure.